Hey guys, this is going to be a quicker video. This is going to be Ultimate Settings Guide to Sea of Thieves in 2024. A lot of people have been asking me for this, so I thought I might as well give the people what they want. Um, why you should trust me, I'm one of the best current players in this video game, specifically in Helming. I have the third highest streak in the world. Keep minds. You can pause the video on all this stuff, blah blah blah, it's all very basic, until we get here. Cycle weapons. So, weapon 1 and 2, I recommend having these two bound to something. I choose to have one button for both of my guns, which basically means, since I put away my sniper there, the next gun I can bring out is only my sniper. And it's not the blunder. I recommend you having two separate key binds for the two guns so you can choose what to bring out. But I just prefer this and it's not a hindrance to me at all. Like, I can very quickly cycle between them, so it's fine. Item shortcuts. There's going to be a few different item shortcuts that are actually important. Um, the main one is food. There's also throwables, your bucket, cannonball, and wood. Now, the most important is throwables and food, I would say. Um, definitely by far most important is food. I understand depending on what system you're on, you might not be able to really key buy and stuff. Um, just try your best, and if you can only do one, definitely make it food. Um, food is my thumb button. I have cannonball as, um, one. I have wood as two. I have bucket as C. And my throwables, I scroll down on my mouse wheel. That's the basics of my key binds for that. Don't use your radio wheel if you don't if you if you are not forced to use your radio wheel then just don't use it it's bad you can have some of these replace gamer tags if you're like a streamer you don't want people to see who you're fighting or whatever um toggle hud's a good one if you're trying to do like saw shots mute all other crews if you get distracted easily um if or if you know you want to if your streamer once again and you know people start saying slurs or something that's a good one to have for controller i'm really not someone to ask about controller stuff um just look up a different guide for if you want controller specific settings now inputs important you want your mouse um generally lower um but once again that's personal preference and you want everything else at 10 just or at least have it at the same number you don't want them different numbers so aim sensitivity that means if i have this down at one and i you know i'm running around obviously my mouse sensitivity is you know very consistent i can move around now if i move around with a blunder buddy i'm moving my whole arm right now and that's how slow it is now if i do my sniper this is how fast it is so you, you always want that to be the same speed otherwise it gets very fucky wucky you don't want that to be fucky wucky um if you're curious about my settings 1.3 mouse 10 everything else and my dpi uh, dpi is 1200 okay let's get into gameplay reduce hold to interact is a bit of a controversial one so i'm going to keep it as um unbiased as possible i hate this setting and i always have it off but it's very good to have on it depends on your personal preference so basically the main positives are if you have this on you only have to click once to load something okay so i'm i pressed it once and it's loading right now that kind of thing same with wood what have you um another thing is if your teammates dead and you're resing them what you what you can do is you can start resing them press z and then do an emote like sit so it works and you can hide while you're resing them you can only do that with reduce hold interact though you know it's just personal preference and then the main downside is if you are dead and you know you're trying to calm with your teammate about if you're going to get res or not if you're going to offer if you press offer you can't go back it offers you instantly so you can't go back from there that's miming right with it, um, but it's also personal preference. All in all, I would recommend having this on, just because, um, especially if you're a new player, because the game can get really fucked with loading, um, and you have to be very specific with your movements and everything, and blah blah blah. Just hold it, use item, you want this off, this means toggle to ADS, it fucking sucks, okay. Stable sh uh, ship sitting interactions, I like to have that off. You should have it on, you should have it disabled. I like to have it off because uh, I am the world record holder for minutes spent sitting. Now for automatically float, I'll have that off. These you can self see and pause if you want. This one you want on. This basically means if you hit the player and it does damage to them, it will tell you. Now, normally with this off and how the game used to work is you would get a hit marker on someone 
and they just it's very possible they wouldn't have taken damage even though you got a hit marker that's called hit reg um you can still get hit reg by hitting them seeing the bullet hit them and not having a hit marker pop up but that's good that means you know whether you did damage to them or not so that's why you want server authoritative hit markers on uh so always have this on that's very important hud you toggle hud here recenter mouse you want that on absolutely Island banners, you either want them slimline or off. I just have them on slimline. Hide gamer tags, you can do that. Blah, blah, blah. You have a keybind for that. Disable season notifications. That's You probably want these three um, on so you can disable your milestones and all that stuff. If you don't, it doesn't matter. But it's just if you don't want to get annoyed as much, you might want to enable all those. For video, you have a newer PC. Definitely do 12 instead of 11. Multi-core rendering uses multiple cores to render. I don't know. Can't really go <laughs> explain it beyond that. Um, you want, you know, 1920 by 10 whatever you're, whatever you can manage without your game dying. Display mode, I just have it on full screen. V-Sync, you want that off, generally. Brightness doesn't, you, you still want brightness decently high so you can see people and everything, but fiddle around with it yourself. I've heard a good um, ordeal is like 55 brightness, 45 color contrast i just have them at 53 and 50 respectively so for frame right you never want to go above 144 you always want to lock to 144 basically if you have this um off uh say yeah, i have a really good pc so i can get like good frames or whatnot but blah 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 i turn the wheel it teleports me it fucking sucks you never want to go above 144 this is just like one example of the shit it'll do um but trust me it does a lot more than this it gets really annoying. So always cap it at 144. Um, FPS and ping, that just allows you to see your FPS and ping. I like see that. You always want this at double. It's basically if you turn this up, that'll just be more input delay. Uh, delay. Always keep your resolution scaling at 100 or below. Like I just have a really good PC, so I can put it at 120. I could probably put it at 150 comfortably if I'm being honest. But this just tanks your performance. Never put this above 100. Like, maybe 105 if you have a decent PC, but, like, it really doesn't do that much above 100. Just keep it at 100. Um, you can just have this on if you're getting annoyed with the scene at the beginning of the game. All right. Now, the only important graphics. I put all my graphics to cursed. Basically, you should keep your graphics as low as you can. Unless you have a really good PC. Um, because this game just works better. You get a lot more FPS on lower graphics. So... The only main two important graphics are water detail. You want that accursed always. If you have it higher, then it's just more difficult to see players, especially at open ocean. If I have it on cursed though, I can see anyone at the bottom of the ocean and kill them very easily. Now with model detail, this is the on only other important one. If I have this at cursed, um, I mean, you can just see, I can't even see the fucking um, fuse anymore. And that's not just for cannon fuses either. That's for a lot of stuff that's just rendered into the game. You always want this at rare minimum. Okay, now, for shadow and the rest of the stuff besides water i always keep at rare too just because it makes the game look really pretty putting stuff to mythical really doesn't make that big of a difference so i would just keep it at rare if i were you but it's up to personal preference field of view probably the most important setting put that at 90. if you have it below 90 i will not forgive you okay so that's the graphics pretty much that oh and these ones these don't matter have them at curse they shouldn't tank your performance otherwise you want disable blur on usually um, you want disable screen shake on, obviously. Rats, that's personal preference. Now, if you want your game to look really vibrant, um, if you're wondering why my game looks nicer than, like, say, the easy out playing this looks, blah, blah, blah. Um, might be better to demonstrate in the daytime. So you have um, the, your normal settings. This is what it looks like, which is, you know, it's fine. The game's beautiful. I love this game. Um, and, and I only switched to these graphics settings recently. But if you want your game to look a lot more vibrant, you're going to put it to green-red. I like having color blindness at 1.0 because you know uh, it's just not as strong as 2.0 and you know 2.0 is a bit overkill in my opinion like that's just fucking that's a headache and a half so i'm just gonna put that to 1.0 and now it's still a headache when you're um only when the sun is rising everything in the game besides that looks absolutely fucking beautiful it's just when like specifically with the sun uh is rising it will like be a little bit bright but it looks so much better than with uh it off but once again it's much more vibrant so once again that's just personal preference though you can also 
mess with the saturation if you don't want to um, be as bright of a world event or something like that. High contrast kill markers, I keep that off so I can get a red hit marker when I kill someone. And X marks the spot, that's you can just have that on for easier digs. For volume, this is obviously personal preference. Um, I These are my settings if you want to copy them at all. I don't like the music, I've heard it a fucking million times, so I just turn that off and have my own stream music I play. Um, well, this is optional. You want directional on so you can tell where people are talking to you from. I have to push a toggle or talk on. I have push a talk on toggle, so that way I only have to press it once. I talk to people a lot while I'm boarding them, and I'm just while I'm playing this game in general. So I just toggle it once, and I don't have to touch it again until I turn it off. Player chat indicator that shows me when I'm talking. This little thing up here, uh, blah 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 blah. So I was talking there, it showed me. Copyrighted audio, if you want that on. Enable wheel turning, this is stupid, have that off. Aim assist audio, that's also stupid, have that off. Musical hit, uh, this is important, this is basically when you hit someone's boat, this will tell you, um, there it is. It will tell you, it will just, it will tell you, and this is separate from music volume. Now, language, text-to-speech override, um, if I s type something in the game, people around me will hear a text-to-speech voice say that. Now you always want speech to text on. This basically means that if you say if someone says something in the game and you can't hear it, it will still transcribe that speech into text form. So if I saw someone say over here and I didn't know they were even there or something and they were top micing their teammate with this out or something, I could still see their text um, coming up on my screen. So and if you know, someone's going out of range as well and they're trying to talk to you, it's also helpful then. It's just very, very helpful. I understand this was kind of a blitz settings guide. Um, if you have any questions, you feel free to comment. I'll answer it in my time that I have available to me. Um, stop by my stream if you also have any other questions about any of it. Um, sorry, I can be of help for the controller players out there. It's just not my expertise. So thank you for watching. I'm going to go die in a hole or something. You have a great day. Goodbye.